are there a list of typically healthy ingredients mm-hmm. that you've seen that can also trigger hyperacidic trigger so a lot of people do i think not realize that uh, the things like things like nitrates mm-hmm. nitrates such as uh, you know vegetables which have seeds in them mm-hmm. or like you know brinjal or uh, mm-hmm. even for that matter tomato citrus mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. kind of a component as well or um, even things like uh, lady finger mm-hmm. those things can also trigger acidity for oh. a lot of people you know so i think uh, it's very very common actually very interesting very very common so mm-hmm. i think when people probably want to look at you know when they have some you know a lot of people i think across the board people love bindi it's like a common you know, household dish right yeah you know exactly so i think sometimes just looking beyond because also the preparation and the way that we have bindi is mm-hmm. largely very oily as mm-hmm. well sometimes it's a combination which is also an issue so nitrates are one common one uh, specifically also h pylori is um, positive uh, and otherwise also i would think cutting out dairy becomes extremely important okay so any form of dairy at that point is not good because the sugar that's coming in from the dairy can help the bacteria thrive So you're feeding the wrong bacteria with exactly. that sugar, exactly. and in this case, H. pylori, which exactly. may be causing your acidity in the first place. Absolutely. Place got it. So then, cutting out dairy becomes mm. really important as well. Mm. And apart from that, I think even having certain foods. So I think a lot of people have issues with even um, a lot of fruits as well. Mm. You know, so uh, specifically having a lot of people love their um, grapes and oranges. So citrus fruits can also be causing that kind of a reaction as well, and even raw salads. Mm. you know so because when you're looking at low, low stomach acid you can imagine that when you're eating a raw food like a, a dish full of cucumber tomato seems like a very healthy thing to have it's probably full of bacteria and fungus as well exactly right. one that and second also to do with the fact that you do not have enough fuel in your car to burn that food down got it you know so if you don't have enough of stomach acid mm. you're not going to be able to break that down into a puree like form very easily got it. and when that food sits around in your stomach for too long you're going to have gas and bloating and you think i've eaten the healthiest meal in the world and why did this happen you know